But if you don't finish today, you have to buy my NFT. Oh, my God. My God. It's just... It makes me sad. If... If you really genuinely expect people to adopt your technology, you need to make your technology understandable to very simple people. It needs to be understandable and explainable within a sentence, if that. Because when people say, oh, you know, you could use cryptocurrency. Okay, cool. How does it work? Oh, you just do this, 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 and this. And I'm thinking, right, hang on. Okay, you're going to need to explain this to my grandma at some point. If you want people to actually adopt this, it's not just going to be really clever people in Silicon Valley. It's going to be the average everyday person. And if you cannot explain it to the average everyday person, how do you expect anyone else to be able to deal with it? You need to be able to explain your complex stuff to, like, an average, normal person. The kind of person that pops down to the pub on a Friday evening, has a couple of pints with their friends, grabs a chip butty on the way home, and then goes to work a crap job they hate. If you can grab them and go, hey, I know that, you know, you live for payday, you live for the weekends, and you've not got that much saved up. I totally understand that. This is the lifestyle that you've got. You want to go home, you want to binge, you know, a couple of TV shows, you want to go and play footy with your mates on the park. Can I interest you in a, a JPEG of a monkey? They're probably going to look at you and go, you what, mate? Because that's exactly what they would say. And you then have to sit down and go, right, look, I need to understand what you think you're going to bring to the average, everyday person with your magical internet money. People always go, oh yeah, but it's completely decentralised. Okay, cool. So there's no central authority. Yeah, that's right. All right, so if I copy uh, an image that you've bought the rights to and I start posting it and selling it, are you saying that I'm breaking your copyright? Yeah, you are. All right, cool. Which police force are you going to run to? You're going to run to the UK police force? They're not going to care. You might not be in the UK. It's not a UK-based company. Are you going to get the cyber police on me? Are you going to contact Interpol? Help me, Interpol. The man in a vest is reposting my monkey. Which lawyer do you think is going to sit down with you and go, right, so you've bought a, a digital good that you have the copyright from because someone else in some random country somewhere said you could have it, and now it's travelled through all the countries of the world. It's probably being held on a server in I don't know, China, Russia, Finland, Denmark, America, anywhere, and someone else is doing it, and you expect us to take them to court. Which court, which country, which court is going to care? Which country is actually going to dedicate time in its own legal system to work out who owns the copyright to something that is, as you have said, decentralised? It literally... You'd be, you'd be lucky to get onto Judge Judy. The only court that would give a crap is Cryptoland. And judging by their current tweets, that would be staffed by 12-year-olds, who I don't think have the most finite and nuanced grasp of the law.